Hello and welcome back to the Vicky Cherry channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about six ways you can keep fit, three ways about going around parks, around Leeds, and three ways about being fit at home, about keeping fit. So start off with, I'm going to talk about parks, parks that you can go and visit that are easy to walk around for keeping fit in your mind going and your, your well-being because I know this lockdown has been a bit rubbish with like your mental health so I thought it'd been good to just do a video oh and also we're in partnership with an organisation called Connects in the North I will give an, a mention in the video because next week we're going to be talking with the group pass it on people about this topic as well but I thought it'd be a good idea to do my own video for my viewers to take on board and then they can do it the same so we're going to talk about the parks. So the first park that I'm going to talk about, and it is absolutely beautiful, and there is actually a path all the way through it, and then you get to the bottom, and there's actually a lake and a cafe. At the minute, it's not open, but you can still walk around it and take a sandwich, pack a lunchbox, and maybe on a day like this, where it's shiny and sunny, you can take a picnic if it's warm enough. But the first park I'm on about is Roundy Park. Which is a picture here. Yay! Rowney Park is one of the most beautiful parks in Leeds. And to tell you that, I saw a chair in there and you're fantastic. But yeah, Rowney Park, it's got flowers, it's got greenery, it's got trees, and it's also at the entrance got the big massive pots round, well, flowers in. That is one fantastic park and it's so easy to go walk around as well. You need to take your dog with you. And the second park, I don't, this is a park, but place where I've been and I've walked around it and it is rather nice. It's got a nice building there that's from years ago, Kirk's Abbey. That's a nice park that you can go visit as well. It's got greenery in it and it's Kirk's Abbey and it's absolutely beautiful. I think they have a, in the summertime, I think they have a, like, a nice green van. But these pubs nearby, like Vesper Gate that do food sometimes and stuff like that and nearby as well that it's a good park to go and walk around because that's full of greenery and at the bottom it's got a bit of a river air as well so that's a good park if it is classed as a park but oh yeah it is because we go up the road up a bit they have got that little kirk's little park bit so and another place to go but this is a picture of kirk's little abbey And back from that, and the third part you could go to, which is really good, that you can walk around, but it doesn't have a path through it, but you could walk through it, and that's Farnley, Farnley Park, that is a great park, that you can go and walk around, it's got a lot of greenery as well, wildlife, take your dog and go around, because I did it through lockdown, I've been there with my mum to walk around with my dog. There's a lot of birds as well, so it's good for that. the bird watchers out there that like to go doing all that thing. And that's the parks done, the three parks that I like to recommend that are good for going on, that are good for that thing. So the next thing we're going to move on to is things you can do at home if you can't get out or you're shielding or stuff like that. So things to do at home, you can do YouTube exercising. You can do that as well, that's a great thing, I've done that before. But I don't do YouTube exercising. I do Zoom session that I do in the morning. That exercise, but you can do all really what suits your DVD or whatever you've got. Yeah. And the next, that was number one. And the next thing you could do, number two, is Zoom session. I do Elite One Zoom on a morning at quarter past 11 till half 11. But I also do on Monday, Tuesday. What's called yoga, it's like doing that, that's 10 till 10.30 I do that. That's to get your mind going, get your mind blown. Because being in lockdown can be a bit rubbish and you can get a bit sit there and do no, but that gets your mind going. And also keeping in fit as well. And also just keeping in touch with your friends and your mind active. So doing that I do just Zoom on an afternoon which is free, so quarter to four, which just chatting up people and my friends and also my friends message me as well throughout the day and now 
going further into lockdown and coming out of it, I can actually meet my friends now for a couple of out there. So I've been doing that as well. Like I met my partner some yeah, Sunday and then I met me and my friend Maisie for last Friday and then I'm going to meet some of my other friends next week but we'll see how that goes. But that's some of the ways that you can keep your sane, sane in lockdown, things to do at home. As well, I said I just sat there watching the same old rubbish on telly, which you can easily do for me. And that's the six tips I keep to keep my mind going and my mental health and my well-being. So three things you can do, parks can go to, and three things you can do at home. So if you like this content, just press the thumbs up and go down to the bottom and subscribe. And I'll be back soon. So thank you for now, guys. Bye.